Steve Byrne from Enfield is fed up with what's happening to the game he loves. Is football now just all about money? Your shout is next. Are you finding the kids a bit of a handful? You could choose new kitty cage. Or you could choose a first choice holiday with three great kids clubs. Free holidays for kids in the First Choice Sunshine Sale. It's the Sweet Center's January sale of the century. Everything's free for a year. Absolutely nothing to pay, not even a deposit, until 1997. Four years free credit until the end of the century. Plus massive savings, like the classic three-seater settee, half price, or the Milan two-seater leather settee, half price. Everything's free until 1997 and interest-free until the year 2000. The Sweet Center's January sale of the century, now on for a limited period. Every day. Every month. Every year. Specsavers Opticians bring you great value eye care. Whether it's our eye examinations. Or spectacles. Or contact lenses. So just imagine what it's like when we have a sale. Well, from now until February, there'll be a huge choice of eye care offers. Pop in and see us for details. The sale at Specsavers Opticians. Step in and save. For me, the perfect wine has to be the wine that lingers the longest. First and most obvious thing that's different about Majestic is that we taste more wine, so we attract enthusiasts. I was an enthusiast of Majestic long before I was involved in the management. I feel proud about the association of American Express and Majestic. My having a card is really an extension of that. If American Express was a wine, it would be a white Burgundy. Burgundy travels very well around the world. Majestic is just one of the places you can have fun with your American Express card. It's a big day for Shane and Angel as they prepare for their wedding day in the second of our three Home and Away specials. It follows your shout. I've been a football fan for all my life and I've been following my team across Britain and Europe but I'm really fed up with what's happening to the game I love. Today football seems to be all about money. I used to go to every Arsenal game but I found I just can't afford it anymore. Tickets now cost between £11 and £25. Far too much money on my salary to make it a regular outing. And Arsenal isn't alone in this. Lots of clubs in Britain charge what in my view is a huge amount of money for tickets. Manchester United seats cost between £11 and £20. Spurs between £15 and £27, with the cheapest seats at top grade matches £18. West Ham between £15 and £23, and Chelsea between £11 and £35. But who can afford that? The FA say that the demand is there, but I don't think it's the traditional football supporters who are forking out the money. Football used to be a game of the working classes. Has it turned its back on its roots? And if that wasn't bad enough, football merchandise has now become a big money spinner. Fans have to pay huge amounts for the privilege of wearing their club's kit. And many clubs change their strip every season, so your kit's quickly out of date. This makes it very difficult for the people without lots of money. And then there's the transfer fees. You can't read about football without learning about the next multi-million pound signing. I remember when a first player was signed for a million pounds. It was Trevor Francis in 1979. These days, that sounds like a bargain. The record stands at £8.5 million for Stan Collymore, an incredible amount of money, even for a very talented player. I think the situation's got completely out of hand. The smaller clubs just can't compete. You might think I'm making a fuss about nothing and that it's all part of the game, but I think it's very damaging. Football should be about dedication, competition, loyalty and teamwork. When I was younger, there was a real romance surrounding football. The passion I felt for my team was overwhelming. What kind of impressions do children get off the game now? Footballers are role models for kids. All this talk of money is harmful. Do children now want to be footballers, not because they love the game, but because they've heard about the glamorous lifestyles and enormous salaries? Football's a sport. It's the nation's favourite game. It shouldn't be a money-making business. Let's get football back to the way it was.
If you have something to shout about and would like to get your voice heard, call the Your Shout information line on 0800 10 60 40. That's 0800 10 60 40. On London tonight, police launch a murder inquiry after a mother of five is found burnt to death in West London. The alarm was raised when flames were spotted at her home in Southall. YPR guru Max Clifford is dreaming up a right royal scandal in Surrey. We reveal how his big shot ideas could transform a dying sleepy village into a top tourist attraction. And saving the lions of Tanzania, we have part two of our special report on the Hertfordshire couple who've raised £100,000 and teamed up with experts from London Zoo. That's London tonight at 6.30, right after Home and Away.